But we begin with that breaking news we continue to follow out of Westford tonight, where a 13-year-old boy has died in Neshoba Valley ski area. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Heather Hedges. Fox 25's Catherine Bertram is live in Westford for us tonight, where Neshoba Valley officials just gave more details about today's tragedy. Catherine. Yeah, Heather, we're standing at the foot of one of the 17 trails here at Neshoba Valley, and officials tell us that it was on one of the most difficult of these trails, a level black diamond, that Rajiv Paruli lost his life. Neshoba Valley ski officials say Rajiv Paruli was spending his holiday weekend with friends here until things took a horrific turn. This is the first such uh, event since uh, opening our doors 51 years ago. Police say Paruli lost control and skied into a tree on the side of a trail. Investigators say although Paruli was wearing a helmet, he was unconscious when ski patrol reached him and he died at a hospital. There's risk involved. Everybody knows that. Um, and you try to tell your kids to be careful and, uh, and you hope for the best. Mike Carroll brings his kids here to ski at least once a week. He remembers when his own son had an accident and the terror that accompanied the moment. It was pretty scary. He started getting sick in the car on the way home and uh, so we just rushed to the hospital. Ski officials say while the trail Peruli was skiing on was difficult, conditions today were near perfect. A perfect day marred by a tragic death. Our hearts go out to the family. And Peruli went to Blanchard Middle School here in Westford, and today the principal released a statement to parents notifying them of the accident and expressing their condolences. They'll also have counselors at the school tomorrow afternoon and all day Tuesday for grieving students. Live in Westford, I'm Catherine Burcham, Fox 25 News. A sad day at the ski.